hi i am rajiv and in this video i am explaining you how to make isomers well there is no general formula of making an isomers but it is based on practice and i am showing you the method how to practice and be confident in deciding how many isomers would be possible for a compound the very basic thing would be to decide which type of bonding is present in the compound so firstly we will consider the general formulas if it is cn h2n plus 2 formula general formula then it would be having a carbon single bond carbon framework but if the formula is cn h2n then it would be a double bond containing compound or it can be a cyclic compound but if the molecular formula is cn h2n minus 2 then it would be an compound containing triple bond or two double bonds or it can be a cyclic structure and if number of hydrogens is nearly equal to number of carbon atoms and condition is that number of carbon atoms is greater than 6 then it would be preferably a aromatic compound for example in the compound C4H9Cl the molecular formula corresponds to CnH2n+2 because chlorine is singly bonded with carb uh, with carbon atom so it would be CnH2n+2 and the carbon framework would be uh, C single bond C similar is is in the case of C uh, of C7H8 because number of carbon atoms is greater than 6 so it would be an aromatic compound and accordingly we can draw it now i am considering an example of c6h14 and i am trying to show you the method which you should follow for making all possible isomers of a compound now very first thing would be the molecular formula of the given compound is 6 uh, c6h14 so we will try to identify the carbon framework as c6h14 corresponds to cnh2n+2 general formula so the carbon framework possible would be carbon single bond carbon or it would be an alkane molecule so now trying to draw the alkane molecule with six carbon atoms in the straight chain and satisfying all the valencies of the carbon atom with the respective elements that are present in the molecular formula in this case there are only hydrogen atom present so all the uh, valencies of the carbon atoms would be satisfied by hydrogen and so this would be the first isomer possible for the compound it is always advisable that try to elaborate the structure of the first isomer because then it would be easier for you to draw the remaining isomers the method that we would be following to make other isomers would be we would be selecting a new chain from the parent chain which would uh, the new chain would be containing one carbon atom less than the parent chain and the carbon atom which we have neglected on the parent chain would be shifted to the second carbon atom on the new chain it would never be placed on the terminal carbon atoms so in this case we we are shifting the uh, last carbon atom or terminal carbon atom to the second position of the newly formed chain and a new isomer is formed now the name of this isomer would be 2 methyl pentane and name of the first isomer is normal hexane i am repeating the method now in this method the parent chain that you have formed you will select one carbon atom less in the new chain and the carbon atom which is neglected from the parent chain that carbon atom is moved to the second position on the newly formed chain it will never be placed on the 
starting or the terminal carbon atoms of the newly formed chain if you place that it on the terminal carbon atom then it would be the same chain as it was earlier now we have a substituent on a newly formed chain which is a methyl group now we can shift this methyl group to all the possible positions on the chain so if we shift this methyl group to the adjacent carbon atom a new uh, a new compound is formed and this compound can be named as 3 methyl pentane so this would be 3 methyl pentane because we have shifted the position of the methyl group now we can shift position of methyl group to the next neighbor that is on the fourth carbon atom of the newly formed parent chain when we shift the carbon atom on to the fourth position it would not be 4 methyl pentane because while numbering we have to give preference to the substituent and numbering would be done from the opposite side and it would be 2 methyl pentane so it does not turn out to be a isomer because two compounds having same IUPAC name are not isomers of each other isomers are only possible when they are different with IUPAC names or different structures now we would be repeating the method that we started with we would be selecting one carbon atom less in the second isomer formed and that would be the basic chain for the new isomer and now we would be shifting the methyl group which we have which we have not selected so the new isomer formed would be 2,3 dimethyl butane because now the carbon atom chain would be only of four carbon atoms and it would be possessing two methyl groups now in the fourth isomer formed there are two methyl groups so we can shift either of one methyl group and it will uh, the shifting would result in formation of a new compound which would be 2 2 dimethyl butane now we would try this method on the third isomer that was formed we would try to shift the methyl group or the truncated carbon atom as methyl group to the parent uh, to the chain so it would give again it would give 2 3 dimethyl butane and when shifting the uh, methyl group it would give 2 2 dimethyl butane which which are same so these are not considered as isomers repeat this method on all the possible isomers that are formed uh, try selecting the chain with one less carbon atom and then the methyl group which is uh, left is shifted and you can uh, you can then draw all the possible isomers you can see in this uh, structure 3 structure 4 and structure 5 in these structures if we shift uh, the if we select a new chain and try to shift the methyl groups they do not give a new structure so they uh, and new isomers are not formed so so the method is that when you select a chain then subsequent chains are selected based on the parent chain and every time you would neglect a carbon atom on the parent chain and the chain which is remaining that is considered as the basic chain for the new isomer the uh, the carbon atoms or methyl groups that are excluded from the parent chain are shifted to the center positions or in between positions leaving the terminal carbon atoms that would result in formation of new isomers i think this should help you thanks for watching this video